Oh hey, it's Rob, and I am finally set up in Bemidji. Um, moved up here a couple of weeks ago, and I lost my controller for editing, so I couldn't really edit anything. <clears throat> Last couple of episodes have just been quick drops. Uh, finally got all that together, got something edited, and it's kind of long. <laughs> but when I was watching the playback, it I, I kind of like it. So uh, I'm going to let the whole thing go and just have a long episode. So thanks for watching. Oh, hi. It's Rob. And I'm sitting on the back porch up in Bemidji. The weather is gorgeous. I am exhausted. Um, drove up last night. Uh, got in, I think, a little after 8. I think we finally finished unloading the trailer by about 11 o'clock. <laughs> so uh, I was pretty beat. And today I am just moving very slow because I don't need to get anything absolutely done today. Uh, as a matter of fact, I am planning to do this move in slowly and kind of rearrange things and put things where I want better. Because um, last time when I moved in, it was all sort of a, a panic rush. So now maybe I can take some time and now that I know what it's like to be here, um, settle in a little bit better. Uh, I'm out here right now because one of the things I'm doing is I am cleaning my computer chassis. Uh, I've got my handy dandy air blower and I'm going to uh, take it apart as much as I can without, you know, actually taking it apart and blowing it out, blowing out the dust and stuff. So it'll get better, better cooling. I noticed it's been getting progressively a little bit warmer. So um, that's it for now. There's probably more later. See you. So the past couple days have been pretty much recovering from the move. Uh, I mean, I, I could barely move yesterday at all. It was, it was bad. And there's been a lot of winter cleanup, you know, um, stuff that was uncovered after the snow thaw, uh, just kind of cleaning up in general outside. Inside, it's been a lot of trying to, trying to set up shop again, trying to get everything set up and do it the way that, that you know, I want to have it set up. So it's going a little slower than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I just kind of thought, yeah, you know, just move up here and then everything, you know, everything's ready. And it's like, no, no, that is not how things are going. Um, I am going to be re, I guess, redoing the office. Uh, it was when I got up here and I realized I set this up initially in just a, a, a hurry, trying to get everything so that I could get working very quickly and up and running. And now that I have a little bit more time, I want to change how everything is set up to make the flow better so that I can work on the stuff that I'm going to be working on. So I'm doing that over a couple of days. Uh, I've been kind of redoing the kitchen. Uh, which is, you know, I brought stuff up and trying to go through everything and see what, what the mice have damaged. Uh, yeah, we had a mouse issue, so uh, hopefully that's taken care of now. I found their way in. Um, so I've been doing some cleaning there. Um, and overall, it's been slow, but feels good, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm working on that now. I'll probably you know, get in some more later this week. We have to do a big trash run. I mean, the uncovering and, and yard cleaning was actually pretty epic. So the trailer is pretty full. Um, all right, well, that's it for now. Uh, I'm sure I'll pick up more later in the week. So. Hmm. Well, we've got some boards underneath here that are 
no longer supported by the joists. I think when they put them in, they didn't line them up properly. So just like that. Uh, and I mean, these boards, these decking boards are pretty, pretty bad shape. So we want to replace them anyway, but doing that is more expensive than uh, we can afford right now. So for now, we're going to do some patching. Got the saw set up. We're gonna cut these into pieces and screw them onto the sides of the main joists underneath so that we have um, basically sister joists to give the board something to sit on. Okay, now what we're going to do is drill about four holes in each of these uh, for the screws. So we'll just start off about diagonally in from the corner, so a little more than an inch. Yeah. I'm just checking to make sure that these fit through. Perfect. Preload it. It might also be a good idea to uh, put some of those through the top of some of the planks. Um, yeah, to screw them down into the yeah. Thing. Yeah, if there's anything left to hold them. Well, I'm more concerned about the two or three, two or three that are actually like falling through. Yeah. I'm not so concerned about the ones that. Yeah. Yep. Get sawdust all over the dog. Yeah. yeah well, she's already in the boat, so. Yeah. 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 Bit wonky, but it'll work. Nobody's gonna care. 
not like they're going to see it. Well, unless they're calling around underneath the... Uh... I would highly doubt somebody would do that. Yeah, probably not. I would be very concerned if there was some random person crawling around underneath my deck. <laughs> I don't know about you. Yeah, it's probably not something that I would, uh, I would think would normally happen. Especially if it's, you know, like a deck inspector. Eh, that one's a little close, but... Go a little more than an inch. Yeah, probably around here. Yep. That one's not wanting to come out. Probably the not. Yeah, that would be my guess. I would assume. Yeah. Yeah. That was correct. Smooth. All right. So we ended up doing quite a few. Yeah. A couple there, there, there. One over there, I think we got eight in total underneath here. There's one on that end. So, I mean, the, this decking really needs to be replaced. It's just, it's old cedar decking that was not properly cared for. So, all right, well, we got more stuff to do. Yay. There are, there are more dogs now. <laughs> See, hi. Stella. Stella, come here. Come here, Stella. Is there a boof boof? Hi. What are you barking at? This time. What's up? <laughs> That's my uncle. That's my uncle Rob. How are you, man? That's Tony. Hi. So yeah, um, here. That's where I'm at right now. It's my sister and my uncle. And then I have my room. Always. And Mike and Amy got back from uh, Arizona yesterday. Michael has moved up to Bemidji as well. Um, and he's got his his uh, mobile mobile washing business. He's got a you know pressure washer and generator and a bunch of stuff. So he can do you know like uh, mobile car and boat cleaning stuff like that. But this is the uh, the trailer that he had. It was, this was this thing was loaded like mad. And uh, while they were going through, I think it was Nebraska. Um, blew two trailer tires and just look at this I mean that is crazy bark your big bark <laughs> 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 remember you have enough money to get one of them. And then we have the stair dogs. So, well, this is going down around. I mean, they're going to want to go outside a little bit. And the new desk is together. So, I need to uh, pretty much take all the stuff off of that desk and take that, well, tape, table, uh, and then put this one in. So really, pretty much what we've done this week uh, has been cleaning, got the, uh, got the porch, or the, the back deck, um, 
cleaned and Tyson power washed it, which was cool. Uh, we got it fixed and put a bunch of, you know, the blocks underneath it to hold up the wood that was not properly installed in the first place. Um, and um, Michael and Tyson got the boats turned over to, you know, see what the shape they're in and what they need for uh, to be fixed and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so, and dogs. We have eight dogs total now. So it is a... It is very much a dog house. The, the six upstairs are all getting along. A um, couple of them are still wary of me, but, you know, they've seen me for a total of, you know, five minutes now. So um, I'm sure when I get to know them a little bit better, they'll be just fine. Uh, yeah. So that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, well, we got some grilling going on here. Got uh, mushrooms and onions and corn. I'm gonna move this one back up. Those onions are just coming apart. Uh, the mushrooms have um, olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and butter, along with some salt and pepper. We got some salt, pepper, garlic on the corn, and these are just all by themselves. So I got these going fairly, fairly warm. I uh, just got them more cooking slow than anything. It's less grilling and more baking, I suppose, or roasting. And over on the charcoal grill, we have potatoes and a smoke bag. And I'm gonna pop these around a little bit. Uh, lost a couple. Uh, yeah, move some of those. put the potatoes in the microwave for five minutes after I cut them up. Uh, put some oil on them, salt, pepper, garlic, and let them sit for about five minutes before I started cooking them. Then after, after these get that nice char on them, then I'll Move into the burgers. <laughs> there is chaos. So burgers are almost done. I'm just getting the cheese. And I have the buns yet to toast. So, yay! All right, um, I've been back for a couple days. The, uh, mostly everything has been, um, Michael has done a, just an amazing job in cleaning stuff and clearing it. It's uh, just, I, I have never met anyone that works as hard and as constantly as he does. It's amazing. So he and Tyson uh, cleaned the porch. And I was able to plant some peppers, but this is all cleaned out. All the firewood is stacked. So we have that ready to go. Um, you pressure wash this, but you know it's never going to be clean. The dogs really like to go and run. He's also done a major job of clearing out all of the leaves and stuff from here. Uh, I'm hoping to set up a more of a garden space over here so that I can move the plants down. I need to fence them off so that they're not eaten by, you know, various critters. Uh, the boats have all been, you know, turned over and cleaned out on the inside, so they're ready to uh, pressure wash and I can get them licensed now. Piper is, of course, playing in the water. Uh, the dock needs to have one of its things replaced. That dock really needs to be redone or replaced entirely. I think redone is probably the best, but I would like to get something that can go out farther, I think. Plus, we have to get rid of all the cattails and cattails and weeds, which is by no means an easy task. He also cleared out a bunch of stuff in the downstairs room that has been taking up space. 
that you don't need. The trees are blooming and they are full of bumblebees. It's one of the strangest things when you stand under the tree, it's this constant hum. It sounds like you're in the middle of a hive. Under here is cleaned out and organized. That's, I mean, that hasn't been done for, you know, since the house was here. I'm going to see if we can get the audio out of this. I mean, these, these bumblebees are huge and there's so many of them. I mean, I'm looking up and I can see about six right now, just right in my field of vision. And basically anywhere you go here, there's that many. I mean, you know, it, the trees are, <laughs> these are blooming. So I don't know what kind of a tree this is. Is it an elm? It might be. Anyway, the apple tree hasn't, oh, I guess it has started blooming a little. So we might end up having a uh, bumper crop of apples again this year. I have to do something with the other ones. This is all the crap that Michael has been able to clear out. Um, I'm going to have to take this to the dump later this week. But uh, it is... I mean, that's a, that's a huge trailer load. <laughs> We're probably going to have to pay extra for that. The ticks have been outrageous this year. I think I've pulled 12 ticks off of Sissy in the past couple of days and a couple off of Piper. I've had a couple myself. Um, I just got them with the uh, um, you know, I didn't get frontline this time. I forget exactly what it is, but it's a uh, it's the same kind of thing. It's a, a long-term insecticide that you rub into their fur right kind of in between their shoulder blades and along the neck. You can kind of still see where Piper's, you know, Piper still got some there. It's very oily and it smells like citrus. This old rotten stump is finally getting decimated. We're down to uh, you know, a sturdy part and a bunch of wood powder. I should get the septic tank pumped. It's in here underneath all the leaves. Uh, the leaves are there intentionally to help keep it from freezing. I do want to dig this up. Uh, this is where that old wood stove was from an old shed that was here. Old shed of legend. Um, when Tyson and Michael were kind of clearing the rocks and things out of this, evidently there is a concrete pad underneath here. Uh, I want to verify that because that would help concretize something in my mind. It's still pretty chaotic here. Um, I need to do some major reorganizing in the kitchen. I mean, when is that ever a problem? I've also redesigned the office a bit, uh, making it more suitable for work. So I have my normal workstation here. Work, work workstation is going to be there. That is the lab bench. And then I have the table over here for additional uh, lab bench space and workspace. Also, if you could do me a favor, um, if you're seeing any ads play uh, during this video, please let me know in the comments. I'm really curious as to whether YouTube is, you know, the YouTube algorithm is doing what it's supposed to be doing. Uh, and I just kind of want to know. Yeah, I got the lab bench set up. Uh, more workstation over there. Uh, I have a work workstation over here. That's not the work computer. That's my my uh, laptop. But it's, that's the setup for when I get the new work laptop, which hopefully is coming soon. Oh, yeah. I got a job. Talk to you later.